Hi, hello. Now, a numerical, a body is thrown vertically up with certain initial velocity. The potential energy and kinetic energy of the bodies are equal at a point P in its path. This is condition 1. And condition 2, if the same body is thrown with double the velocity upward, the ratio of potential energy and kinetic energies of the body when it crosses the same point. So here level of the two bodies is same only, same point is given. So try to understand the given situation in the question. Step by step we can discuss here the body at a point O which is vertically upward projected with initial velocity U and it reach a point P. So it reach a point P. Okay. So what is our question in which okay first condition the potential energy which is equal to kinetic energy is given. This is given in the question. Okay, so for that initially the body have total energy in the form of kinetic energy only. So that kinetic energy, okay, formula is 1 by 2 m u square. So the kinetic energy, total energy also at a point O is same only. That's why total energy at a point O which is equal to 1 by 2 m u square. Because of potential energy 0 here ground level. Okay, so then here the potential energy and kinetic energy is equal. Now I am going to find the total energy. So the total energy at a point P which is equal to sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy. See now total energy at a point P which is equal to here kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. That's why I write I written as PE plus PE. So this is kinetic energy which is equal to potential energy that's why I wrote potential energy plus potential energy. So total energy at a point P which is equal to 2 into PE. Okay, so try to understand the values every equation is important and next I am going to do here second condition. For second condition this is the body O position so same body only. Okay, and the velocity is twice. So then this is 2u, the projected body with initial velocity upward direction projection is 2u. So this is taken as 2u. Okay, next it reaches the same point P. So it reaches the same point P. So what we have to find there that is the ratio of the potential energy to the kinetic energy is our question. Okay, here in first condition given potential energy is equal to kinetic energy but in the second condition the ratio of potential energy to the kinetic energy. Okay, so for that again I am doing here initially total energy in the form of kinetic energy only that's why the total energy at O which is equal to Te total energy which is equal to 1 by 2 m 2 u square. Okay. For this total energy okay which is equal to 2 to the 4 that is 1 by 2 m u square. So 1 by 2 m u square is what total energy at O in the first condition. That's why we can write in this condition here total energy at a point O which is equal to total energy at a point P. So in the form of kinetic energy here in the form of sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy. So in the first condition total energy at O which is equal to total energy at P according to law of conservation of energy. So which is equal to we can write both values so that this is 1 by 2 m u square which is equal to 2 P E. Anything we can write. So here 1 by 2 m u square. So 1 by 2 m u square which is written as directly 2 P E. So second condition T 
e wo which is equal to 4 into so this value is replacing here then we will get this is 2 p e see four values i wrote clearly step by step so then here 1 by 2 mu square is total energy at a point p okay so that is total energy at a point wo anything result is same only according to law of conservation of energy so now total energy at wo which is equal to 8 pe we got so try to understand this is the second situation this is the first one okay for that now i wanted to find here at a point p total energy so here total energy at a point p so t e p which is equal to sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy okay potential energy value already we know that is there is no change in potential energy p e only but kinetic energy we have to find so that here kinetic energy which is equal to total energy at a point p minus p e okay so now here kinetic energy which is equal to so total energy at a point okay total energy at a point o which is equal to total energy at a point p which is equal to 8 p e 8 P e. Try to understand according to the law of conservation of energy, kinetic energy convert into some of the potential energy and kinetic energy. That's why the total energy at O which is equal to total energy at P. Then which is equal to 8 P e. Otherwise we can write 4 into 1 by 2 m u square. Try to understand the given situation. Now the kinetic energy value is this is taken as what is that? T P E total energy at a point P which is equal how much here 8 P E so 8 P E minus P E okay so what is our question given here okay at P point at P point the potential energy divided by kinetic energy is our question okay so that here i am writing the values potential energy is remain same only and kinetic energy value how much we got here that is 8 pe minus pe which is equal to okay so that pe divided by okay 7 pe so pe pe value potential energy is get cancelled we got here finally okay the ratio of the potential energy to the kinetic energy which is equal to 1 by 7 is the answer okay